Kasi eh, anong sinasabi? Kita ninyo, ilan ang patay? Ito po ay ayon sa privilege speech mismo ni Senator Ninoy. Na for the record, uh, uh, 68 na sa akin ang record. Sa akin ang record. Ng Project Merdeka. Jo Project Merdeka was a legitimate project of the government. I will not tell you what it is. Si Colonel Eddie Martellino, member ng Army, ang head ng project na yun. Ang asawa niya, taga Sulu, one of the islands of Sulu, a noted island where the women are beautiful women who are descendants of the Ar Arabs who came to the Philippines to bring to us the Muslim faith. He recruited young men from that island and neighboring islands on a voluntary basis to train and be a part of Project Merdeka. They were brought after they assembled in Sulu archipelago. They were brought voluntarily to Corregidor. And during that period of training, and they were training extensively in Corregidor, some of those volunteers opted to withdraw so ch they changed their mind. But they were already on training and well beyond the period for training. They knew the objective. Natural, naturally, the military did not want them to live. And so they tried to escape and there was a firefight. Some of them uh, died now. There was no massacre. There was no intentional effort to eliminate them. They fought the people who were there. There were 300 of them. I think about 10 or 12 wanted to get out. They fought their way. They have to, the others will have to fight back. Now, this is Aruna. And this was the lie that was propagated by Rappler was supposed to be supposed to have escaped and maybe he escaped because he was found by fishermen at the middle of Manila Bay near Corregidor he claimed that he escaped at about before, before dawn and he saw, according, it was dark according to him, and he saw helicopters, his companions were tied up. He ginapos sa puno ng mga kahoy at pinagbabaril. Yun ang istorya na binigay ni Arula kay Cristiniano Montano at kay Ninoy. At pinaputok nila. At ginamit nila Masaker. Pero walang masaker. Ngayon. Na, na, na court martial, lahat yung mga binanggit nila na nasangkot sa sa, sa, sa masaker. Pagmamasaker. Panahon ito ng wala pang martial na ito. Ha? 1967 ito eh. I have the record of that those proceedings. I preserve them. Yeah. I have the record of the trial of Nino Aquino. Completo. Peter, ano pang pinanggagawa ninyo? Ano, 1968, nagkaroon ng uh, deklarasyon na may minasakar daw po ang gobyerno. Yeah, yes. And, uh, yun nga, uh, yun, and to date, Kung nagkaroon ng masaker, walang complainant kahit isa. 
may mga asawa yan, may mga anak yan, yung iba dyan, may boyfriend, girlfriend, may mga kapitbahay yan, uncle, wala po. Yung uh, merde ka na yon, ang ang nag ang nag uh, gumawa ng maingay na maingay doon ay pami, yun, yun ang media ng pamilya Lopez no ABS-CBN na noon at ang nag-echo noon sa hanay ng mga estudyante ay si Joma Season mismo na noon ay na nagtuturo na sa UP ng political science kasama si Nur Miswari no as well as Nur Miswari at uh, kaya yun ang ginawang dahilan ni Nur Miswari kaya sa sumikat I think doon yata nila tinayo yung ano yung Muslim Independence Movement ano. O oh, yung MIM ano. Si Nur Miswari noon, eh si Nur Miswari kilala ko yan, nakasama ko sa Safe House yan. Marxist yan eh. <laughs> Kaya kami natatawa na siya biglang naging uh, what do you call it, naging iman, naging religious leader ng Muslim. I doubt if uh, kung siya man ay naniniwala sa sa religion. Kaya,